my name is Maddie. If you're new here, I love sewing, traveling, and eating food all over the world. We are currently in Sevilla, Spain, and today I am taking you with me to explore the city, eat good food, and do some shopping before tonight we head off to Marrakesh, Morocco for the next leg of our journey. Before we do though, let's go ahead and go grab a quick bite to eat, and then from there we'll go ahead and start our day. And now I need to pack my stuff up because we are leaving the hotel relatively soon. But once that's done, we're going to hop in the car and then head down to the Square de San Francisco where there are a bunch of fans, shawls, and flamenco accessories that us girls are looking for for our dresses because the day we get back, we are doing prom, which is a ridiculous timeline. But it is what it is. But we're trying to find some cute hair accessories for our prom dresses. And then we're also trying to find some cute accessories for when we go to Morocco for some of the dresses we're wearing there. So that's the plan for today. We're also hoping to grab some yummy food, maybe some empanadas, some tapas. We'll see. And then finally, we're also going to look around in the Triana Square again and see if we can find some cute shoes for my younger sister and some beautiful ceramic pieces that we can take home to friends and family. So that's the plan for today, and I'm gonna take you with me. And also, sorry, I totally spaced this. We're also gonna get footage for my upcoming sewing videos. So today's a really busy day, but I'm super excited. And without further ado, let's head into the city. After being dropped off by my dad at the intersection, we went ahead and explored this little monastery shop. And it had all like these religious cord things because the Santa Maria week was the week before we got there. After that, we headed into the Triana. So this is one of the most popular Trianas you can visit in Sevilla, and it holds a lot of meat products, fresh produce, and seafood from the local harbors. So we ended up exploring for a little bit, and we found a lot of very interesting things. I think we found a shop. Okay. Besides the quite tasteful jewelry, we were in for a surprising shock around the corner of this flamenca shop when, lo and behold, we discovered the heads of several of the champion bulls that were vanquished at the infamous Sevilla bullfighting ring. After that quite stellar shock, to say the least, we went ahead and continued exploring. Among the other unique aspects of this marketplace, they taught a variety of dance lessons, including flamenca. All of these in which were performed at this tiny theater. Despite it being loud, we are currently in the center of Sevilla, and we're waiting on my parents who are in a store to come meet us. But after that, we're gonna head to the square de San Francisco, where all the flamenco shops are located. It's very nice and sunny outside, and it's super beautiful, but just chilling, you know. While we waited, we ended up finding a cute spot across the river to get a little bit of footage before my parents met up with us. As you can see, it was definitely a little bit windier than I liked as my hat kept trying to fly off. So that is the bullfighting ring of Sevilla by the statue, and now we are wandering down to San Francisco Square. So we've stopped on our way to the square inside a local tourist shop because we're trying to find my sister a scarf, but no luck here, so we're gonna keep looking as we walk. Well, we found a really fancy oh shop. Look at these fans. Once we left the fan shop, we then headed to another scarf shop. 
Most of these scarves are made out of a rayon or silk material. The more expensive ones feature intricate embroidery and can cost over a thousand euros. So guys, we have arrived in the square and now we are gonna go ahead and head down the street in front of us to see if we can find any treats or souvenirs. Upon reaching the street, I instantly saw a fan shop that I wanted to go in. I'm currently picking out a fan. Very similar to the scarves, fans are often used for formal events like weddings or funerals. These beautiful artworks are completely handmade and hand-painted in Sevilla, using traditional techniques passed down by each family. So we have bought our fan, and now we're heading back to get my sister a scarf. Newly acquired scarf in hand, we soon made our way to one of the most well-known architectural sites in Sevilla, which hosts an art museum. The next place we stopped, Queen's Boutique, was one of my favorite places we went to on this entire trip. This store is dedicated to an event called the Feria, or the May Fair, that happens in early April every year. On this day, women will dress up in their finest flamenco costumes, complete with hats, colorful flowers, and in some cases, even custom-made flamenco dresses. Suffice it to say, I was in costumer heaven. After looking at some of the potential options of what I could bring home, we went ahead and grabbed lunch right across the street. And of course, because I couldn't help myself, we scrambled back to the store after lunch to do some more exploring. Well, it's after lunchtime, and we've gotten some shopping done, and now we are trying to go to the main square and get some pictures. We made it to the square. Hey guys, so we are currently in the main square. and I'm walking around getting pictures. But once this is done, we're gonna go and grab dinner. I think we're gonna try finding some paella. After that, we have to get ready to go to the airport so we can fly to Morocco, which is the next leg of our journey. But anyway, look how beautiful this square is. Anyway, yeah, let's go get some more pictures and then let's go grab some dinner. we are headed out of the square and I actually had to switch phones because my phone is pretty much dead but now we are heading to grab the car grab dinner and then head to the airport so I'll see you there
Well guys, we are at the airport and this journey has officially ended. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you look forward to the next installment of this trip saga. Anyway, bye-bye for now.